Let me sit on something. I'm too short for this shit. Is that better? Yeah, I look like a tall bitch. Go me. Throw some butter on my house. You do look tall as fuck. Your head's about to hit the damn ceiling. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. If you didn't know that already, by the title of today's video, y'all know that I'm doing a car tour. If y'all didn't know, I have a Honda Civic Sport 2020. I got my car back in June, but so much shit went down with the registration, the license plates and everything. So I couldn't really drive my car anywhere. So yeah, if you want to see that, then just please keep on watching. Don't forget to comment um, some video suggestions down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media and all that. And let's just get on into the video. So starting off with the driver's side door, this is just what the handle looks like. On the door, there's a bunch of buttons. So this controls like the side view mirrors, left, right. This controls which way they go, up, down, just to adjust. These are just to lock and unlock the doors. This button, if I don't want people to change the windows, I could just click this button and then they can't really change any of the windows in the car. This controls all the windows. So this, the two back ones and the two front ones. Moving on over here. So I honestly don't even know what these buttons do. All I know is this keeps me from like fucking into other people's lanes. You know, what is what is that called? Like this keeps me from getting into a car accident. All right, if I'm not like paying attention that much, even though that's bad. I definitely pay attention. Why does my hand look so white? Anyway, I definitely pay attention when I'm driving. I don't know what that does. I have no idea what that does. So moving on to the steering wheel, this is what it looks like. On this side of the steering wheel is just, um, this controls like front and back when I'm playing my songs, like whichever, if I want to go back to a song or if I want to skip a song, this controls the volume. I have no idea what that does. This like I can hang up or pick up a phone call or this is like the Siri in the car. Like if I needed to do something, I could just ask. This side, I honestly have not figured that out yet. I think this is like cruise control or something. I don't know what these buttons do. I've never ever clicked any of them right here. So these are just like my brights and my lights and everything like that. This right here is my mister. And so if something's like on my car, I could just clean it off really quick. So this is what it's gonna look like when you turn the car on. It's just telling me to put on my seatbelt, see? Sorry for any of the dust that's on the, what is this called? That's not called dashboard, that's the dashboard. Anyway, sorry for any of the dust. I honestly have no idea what that's called. I know it's like the heat in my car, I guess. No, 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 no. Don't, I don't know what that's called. This, um, the middle portion just tells me how fast I'm going. It says P, cause I'm in park. The little green thing at the top um, it stands for Econ, which is this down here. I honestly have no idea what that is or what it does. Guy at the Honda dealership just told me to keep it on, so that's what I did. How much gas I have. This is like the little media center. When you click home, that's what the screen's gonna look like. When you click audio, um, it's gonna look like this. When you click phone, it's gonna pop up with your favorites. So, my best friend and my mom. And then when you hit back, it just goes to all of your all of your shit so phone music maps messages now playing honda podcasts and news and then you can swipe and oh and it is touch screen and you can move to audiobooks calendar settings or spotify i use spotify in my car that's why it's over here i have apple carplay these are all my playlists or what i've been recent listening to recently um those are like my playlists from when i was filming and everything you click here and you can see the song. Um, you click here and it moves to your favorites or you can click recents, contacts, keypad, or you listen to your voicemails. Um, down here, you can like change the volume of the songs or you could also do that on the steering wheel. This is climate and it also changes here. This just changes how hot or how cold I want it to be in my car. I have to turn it on first and then it's low because that means that it's cold or I could change it and see it's going up to hot. Oh my god, that's way too fucking hot. And it just moves over here or I could just go like that and then it just starts. Down here, I don't know what the fuck these do. I just know that it's defroster for the front, for the back. I don't know what this is or what this is. Passenger airbag. I don't know. This is just usually where I keep my phone or keep chopstick while I'm driving. This is my Prindle. If y'all don't know where that's from, I'm sorry. I don't, have, I don't even have an L, but I have P, 
which is park, reverse, neutral, drive, and sport. I usually drive with it on drive. I don't really use a sport unless I'm like driving with friends. This is brake hold, what the parking brake would essentially be. Usually it's like the pull up one in normal cars or in like older cars, but for this, it's just a little button. This is the Econ. Again, I have no idea what the fuck that does. These are my cup holders. Sorry if there's any dust in them. I literally just, uh, I have a dog and all of her hair gets everywhere. You can move these cup holders, which I think is pretty cool. And you can lift this up and yeah. In here, I just have some Pampers because I honestly don't go anywhere without some of these baby wipes. I think they're definitely an essential. I have a face mask, an eyelash curler. This is my apron for work. If y'all didn't know, I work at Starbucks. I have some gum. I have a scrunchie, a receipt. And then I have some uh, putty, which I use to clean um, any of the like dirt or anything that's just like on my car or in like the air vents or something. Yeah, I'm gonna stuff that back in there. This, it usually stays like this, but you can move it up, which is what I like to do. And then it just leaves this little portion right here. You can actually take this out. Sorry, I broke a nail. And then you have another cup holder right under it. And you just put it back in the same way that you took it out. And usually I just have it like this so that no one can like see under into the car. Under this is just um, where I charge my phone. This is like the cable that I have. And then I, this is more storage space. To be honest, usually down here I keep socks. I don't know if that's weird. Um, when I'm driving, I don't really drive with shoes on or I drive with like Crocs or like chanclas, whatever. But I don't like driving with shoes on, so I keep down socks down here if my toesies get cold. This, which is a car vacuum, I need to empty it out. It has a bunch of my dog's hair in it. Moving on to the glove compartment. This has so much of my shit in it. I have my um, favorite perfume right now. And yeah, I keep it in the box, because why not? Then this is like everything that I need ever. It's in like a little clear milk makeup bag so I can see what I have. So I have perfume, my little wallet, um, a Sharpie for work, a bunch of chapstick, a bunch of lip gloss, some hand sanitizer, my inhaler because I have asthma, um, some nail glue because I literally, like I said, I broke a nail, some toothpaste, a little toothbrush, my AirPods. Then in here I have all of my car's documents. This is just the passenger side door, nothing special. It just has the lock and the unlock button and then the... The button for their window okay so i moved to the back seat because i wanted to show you guys something that i added to my car was this little um car trash can i love this i think it's so helpful um when i'm driving i don't want to just like put stuff all over my car so i just put it in the car trash can the seats in the back sorry if there's dog hair once again my dog was in here not too long ago but this is what i have in the back this fell off i keep this on the back so that it holds any of my bags or anything or when i go grocery shopping so that it doesn't tip over this is the um what the seats actually look like from the front so that they have that like checkerboard print and then that's what that looks like um the back seats just look like this i have two jackets back here just in case and yeah that's pretty much the whole interior for the car the only other thing is on the back seats for the car the only thing that they have is um the little window thing they have a little place to put like trash or like to hold up a drink and then they have just their little compartment right here there's no like cup holders back here i think it's just just this i just wanted to show you guys my trunk really quickly i know i have so many shoes in here so i just have some burks like i said i don't like driving with shoes on i have my air forces they're just the high top ones i have some heels because you never know they're from shein i have my friend's shoes that she left i have some um flip-flops and then i have my emergency kit this has jumper cables in it this has a little vest it has a bunch of stuff that you need it has a cone and everything i highly recommend it's from amazon and then i just have some snacks if i ever get hungry and then there's a the target lastly um this is my gas tank it's just a push like there's no there's nothing like special about it and then there's no actual like thing that you have to twist on you just put it in there click it to make sure it's closed or open and everything 
sorry i look bummy but that was my car tour i just got off work that's why i'm hella red and like i look busted but um yeah that was my car tour if you liked it please like comment and subscribe don't forget to follow my social media it'll be linked down below comment some video suggestions as to what you'd like to see next um and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed bye guys